Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye, Daddy. Six months ago, I started this journey. It was just me and Steven. I was 425 pounds and not mobile in the least bit. I sat on the recliner all day, on my computer, doing simple work to get by and wasn't really challenging at all. But it's been six months and I've lost nearly 50 pounds. My mobility has gone through the roof and I've performed feats of strength that are modest to most people but are extremely incredible from my point of view. And today comes the greatest challenge of my life. The greatest physical challenge I have ever approached. And I'm doing it willingly. Today was the day of my Spartan Sprint. Spartan Race has three different main races and some other challenges too. The Sprint is arguably the easiest. It's three to five miles, whereas the others are about eight miles and 13 miles. So this one's shorter, has less obstacles than the others. Still challenging to anybody, especially me, but it was made even more challenging accidentally by the weather. We had lots of rain and wind chills that got into the 30s. When we started the race, I had to be vaulted over a wall because you have to jump over a wall just to get to the starting gate. I couldn't do that. Steven, with the help of somebody else, practically just picked me up and threw me over. And that's when the challenge really began. Trying to get through this one straight, relatively flat road was made so hard by the amount of slick mud. This was mud that had been rained on all day and trampled over by, at this point, hundreds, no, thousands of people. Trying to get down simple inclines was extremely difficult. Heck, trying to get past flat paths, roads that had practically no incline or decline at all, was made nearly impossible because I kept slipping and falling and losing my balance it was absolutely horrible. As we went through, other groups that started after us actually wound up passing us, which was no surprise. We figured this was going to happen. I don't exactly have the best pace. Um, and it was actually good to get to see these people because I met some people, strangers, who wanted to help out. Come on, big man. Here, I got you. Okay. Here, give me a hand. Come on, walk over here. It's just smarter that way. <laughs> You're going to get muddy regardless. You right? Get muddy. You, about to get in the mud right over there. Yeah. And there goes my yeah, use, that, use that route right there as a step right there in front of you. There you go. Come on, big man. You got it. There you go. Hell yeah. Thanks, man. Yeah, man. There are some more walls, and this time I was guaranteed to have to do this without being vaulted over. So Stephen gave me a knee to stand on and I came over the wall and these two girls helped me get on the other side, making sure I didn't fall and hit my head. Oh, you know, I never thought I'd be doing stuff like this. Then came the barbed wire challenge. Now this was really hard. Okay. I had to army crawl underneath. Oh gosh. Is that, it's gotta be several yards at least of barbed wire. I mean, I don't really know how far it was really. And it got to the point eventually where I couldn't crawl anymore. And I was told, hey, just roll. Just roll underneath it. And I did. It actually worked a lot better than crawling. I lost my hat. That's okay, because Steven went and got that for me. <sighs> you know, the barbed wire thing was something I was dreading beforehand, because Steven told me about it. And it turned out to be probably the easiest thing of the day. You know, very easily the easiest thing of the day. Um, especially once I started rolling. Uh, it's very interesting getting down on the dirt like that and seeing things from that perspective. Um, you know, with the barbed wire over your head and you flat out on the ground, it's a very humbling experience. But in the end, I did make it out and uh, had to rearrange some clothing and <laughs> shake off some mud so I wasn't being weighed down by everything. It's okay, though. Just got up and kept on going. Hey, stay in this track, okay? Again, with these flat roads, we tried walking in the tracks, and that didn't really work. Best thing that we could do was find grassy areas to walk in. See, here I am 
walking through tracks that were made by vehicles, I figured, hey, this would be the easiest thing to walk through uh, out of everything. I mean, granted, the grass would have been a better idea, but my brain kept telling me that I wasn't allowed to do that, even though I kind of technically was. Now, this happened a lot right here. My feet just getting stuck, my shoes getting suctioned in by the mud, and several times it happened like this, where I would try and get out, and my foot would pop out. And here, it happened with both of them. I just picked up the shoes with my bare hands and walked in my socks for a while until I got to a grassy area. Put them back on, but man, those shoes were becoming more and more worthless as I went along. Steven got behind me and helped make sure I didn't fall over or slip. He was sort of pushing me. He wanted us to move a little faster, but he knew that I could go faster if I had some motivation. Oh, but it was very hard. And because of how bad the weather got, they actually sent somebody out. Steven. This guy here is Woody. He's actually the course designer for Spartan Sprint, or at least this one. Um, he actually talked to me and gave me some pointers and was asking me to please, please don't hurt myself. Just get to the finish line. Uh, Have we not? I'm not myself. sure. The weather had made the whole terrain unfair in Spartan's eyes. I mean, there's bad, but then there was this. And Spartan Race didn't want anyone getting hurt or in trouble and they thought this was just completely unfair. So they actually sent the course designer out to move the path to certain other areas so that it would become a little bit more fair for us. He didn't want to see anyone get killed or injured. On that note, I'm not exaggerating, someone actually was hospitalized by the end of this whole day. Thankfully, it wasn't me. But if you saw me carry that sandbag up that whole hill, there are some times where you would have thought I was about to really, really hurt myself. It was pretty scary. During the second half of the race, I met some more volunteers, Lauren and Kelsey. Those two stuck with us pretty much for the remainder of the second half of the race, and they were very encouraging, and they were talking me through some of the stuff, and they wanted to make sure that I tried every obstacle, even if I couldn't complete it. That way, the next time I did something like this, I'd at the very least know what I was doing. Hey, right, Duffy, help me pull this. Oh, why? What? Because it's too covered in mud. You can't do it yourself? It's too covered in mud. Let me give it a shot real quick. Real quick. Okay, okay, go for it. Want to at least know what you're doing? I see what you mean. <laughs> yes, sir. My heart. You got it. Nice, nice, nice. We have to control it down, too, okay? Oh, yeah. Can we let it go? Slowly. Okay. Yeah, slowly. Okay. I got it. Use your feet. Good job, guys. Nice job. Nice job. Nice job. I got it. All right, you got that? Yep. All right, I got this side. Go. Okay, I got it. Taking turns with the feet. Nice. Ready, set, one, two, three, go. Woody continued to walk with us and directed us into new areas, occasionally telling us to just stay on the other side of the tape um, because that side was safer to walk on. Here's the thing. Not a single obstacle supervisor wanted me to do burpees when I couldn't complete the obstacle. They wanted to see me try it for the experience and then move on. And it's a good thing, too, because... If I had to do burpees, I would not have made it to the finish line. You just did that, dude! Oh, short people problems right here. Real short people problems. Running out. You're going to beat me. You're going to cross first. Let's go. Cross it first. Let's go. Push. 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 Go. Go. Go, 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 get over it, get over it, go, go, move it, go, go, over, hell yeah!
Was it hard? Yes. Was it grueling? Yes. Were there times during the race where I said, I wish I never signed up? Yes. But I completed it. And as a result of that, I will never be the same Duffy. Hey everybody, it's the next day and I'm more awake than I thought I was going to be. Last night was brutal. Oh, so brutal. And uh, my sneakers, as you can see, uh, did not survive the race. They are disgusting, they are torn up, they are soaked, they have who knows what in them. I have not even brought them inside the house. Which meant I actually had to go to, um, had to go out today without shoes to go um, to the New Balance store and get some sneakers. I've never actually been here before, but I figured if anyone was going to have my size, it would have to be a New Balance, actual New Balance store. And thankfully they did. And it turns out I'm actually a smaller size than the last pair of shoes I was wearing. Losing 50 pounds uh, does that to your feet, I guess. Uh, I've gone down from a size 16 to a size 14. So that's nice. Um, so I got some new shoes and uh, my feet are burning, but that's mostly because they're swollen and they'd rather me not have shoes on at all. But it's got to get used to wearing shoes right now. Anyway, the race, oh gosh, that race was so hard. That race was so very hard. Oh, wait a second. You know, these are the these are the glasses I was wearing yesterday. Let me go. Uh, I think I still have my, the glasses I, I, I've been wearing lately right up here. There we go. Whoa, these, are, these got really dirty inside of that. Okay, looks like I'm wearing the... Uh, I can't even see through those. I gotta wear the Spartan race glasses, I guess. We are now two days out from the Spartan race. It's Monday the 9th. I'm still wearing this thing because why on earth would I not be wearing this thing right now? Guys... I thought I was in pain yesterday. No. No. I am in pain today. It is hard to breathe. It is hard to talk. It is hard to stand up. It is hard to sit down. It is hard to go from sitting down to getting up. Everything is so painful. I laugh and I hurt. I cough and I hurt. Oh, my word. My, my abdomen is my core. It, it's so torn up. That I just, I feel so much pain with everything that I do. My feet, yeah, they're still a little small and they, they still feel a little sensitive. But my core is just dying right now. And, and I mean, I had to go and clean the inside of the car because the only had places to go. And for obvious reasons, I didn't want to go sit in a car filled with mud on the inside. So we took care of that. But it was very difficult doing that. Um, I tried going for a walk earlier because, you know... Uh, if you just stay in one place, it doesn't really tend to help you heal very easily. Um, and that was too much. My, my knees are starting to hurt, actually, from that, um, on top of everything else. Guys, the Spartan Sprint was a very difficult challenge for me. But, um, no, I'm glad it's done. I'm glad that we did it. I'm very thankful. And I know I mentioned uh, these people um, earlier in this video, but I want to say thanks again to Woody, to Lauren, to Chelsea, to Kay, and everybody else there. That helped me through that race. Y'all were awesome. And it was a pleasure getting to meet with, meet with you all. And uh, I guess sort of hang out while we were doing the race. Oh, man. If I could undo that race and, and just and, and avoid having done it at all. No, I wouldn't do that. It um, is an accomplishment that I am proud of. Um, 
that I'm, I'm very thankful that I got to do it. Oh, but that doesn't mean I'm looking forward to the other ones, guys. It's not. Uh, I don't want to look forward to that at all, but... Unless something happens, I still intend to get this trifecta done. So, here's the metal. And then on the other side of it is one-third of a metal. So, the, the front of the metal here, Spartan Sprint 2018. On the other side here... We got something written in Greek. Um, I'll run Google Translate to see what that says. And also Spartan Sprint. Um, uh, on the other side, you can see it is one third of a Spartan Race trifecta medal. So the Spartan Sprint uh, has the color red for its branding. And then uh, the Beast and the Super, I think, are blue and green, respectively, but I might have that backwards. Um, and they all sort of fit together from what I, from what I understand. Once you have uh, the three different metals, they all sort of interlock somehow and they fit together, creating a third, uh, rather a fourth metal for the trifecta. And it's a huge deal. On the back of the sprint metal, it's got the Spartan Race title, Push Harder, and it says that I'm a finisher. And uh, because I actually did pay a little extra, I think it was like 12 bucks or something like that, um, I get, I'm get i going to be getting a little thing that fits in here because you can see it's, it's actually erased, or rather it's embedded here, this section. So... There's actually a little piece that's going to go in there that has my time, I believe, the time it took me to run. So it was a three-hour run. It was not four hours. I thought it was four because my time was actually three o'clock, and I, I know I got done at about seven. But apparently we uh, were so late because of the traffic. If you saw the live stream, you saw we were in some really bad traffic. And by the time we got into the park or the farm and by the time we got uh, registered and uh, put our stuff away in the lockers and everything. By the po point we got to the the actual uh, starting point, it was already like 3.45 or something like that. So by the time we got to the end, it had been a three-hour race. And I was not the slowest, actually. If you look at these times here, I'm actually not the slowest. We had some people that took like three hours and 24 minutes and stuff like that. There was actually a few hundred people that did it slower than I did it, which is ridiculous now i was like the last one to cross the finish line if you don't count steven um who let me go in front of him uh but because they uh stagger everybody uh like you they're doing it like they're sending out a whole bunch of people every 10 minutes or something like that uh that way they're not all clumped together uh so somebody took longer than me but you know started obviously before i did so it's interesting um it's kind of cool to know that i wasn't the slowest uh i don't know what the Super and the Beast are going to be like, but I guess we'll find out later on. In the meantime, I'm going to keep wearing this, and I'm going to get a massage tonight because pain. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you for all of your encouraging words and comments and, and just being there. All right, guys, you all you all are awesome. Steve and I are working on some major stuff for this channel, but mostly for you guys. We're working on some huge things for you big projects that go beyond YouTube, and I want to talk to you so bad about that, but we're not going to do that yet. Just keep your eyes peeled, all right? And if you want the latest on everything, go to Patreon and keep up with us there. We've got a Facebook group and that we uh, you can be a part of if you, if you join Patreon. And I suppose that until next time, good luck and train hard. See you guys later. Ow.